Hey everybody, it is day 27 of our March Testimony Challenge and I hope you guys are doing uh, well. Uh, it's been such a great day today and tomorrow is Sunday and excited to uh, be with our church family tomorrow and uh, wherever you guys are or however you're celebrating church tomorrow, just excited for you. Um, uh, we've just had such a blast doing this throughout the month of March. I know we've said that a lot, but it's just been fun and enjoying all the comments and, and uh, prayer requests and everything in between of just being able to uh, communicate with you uh, throughout this month. We've just loved it so much. And um, uh, anyways, I just wanted to, we haven't actually done this in a while, but wanted to remind you that the, uh, part of the reason we were doing this is from a scripture in Revelations, which was that the testimony of Jesus is uh, as the spirit of prophecy. In other words, if he's done this, uh, if he, he's since, uh, that he's done this before and so he's going to do it again. Uh, meaning that when Jesus does a work, uh, a grace is released for him to be able to replicate that. And uh, and so just this whole month, and we're on our 27th straight day of doing this, of just this belief system that when we share a testimony that Jesus has done, we are believing that as you are hearing this, that grace is released for that to happen uh, in your life, either through a healing as we share it, or that grace is released for you to go out and minister as well. And uh, and so today we have day 27, which is, um, so we have our 27th testimony. And this one actually just happened very recently, uh, as in just a couple of weeks ago. We were, uh, before our church starts, um, we are still uh, most of the time doing our church out in uh, our parking lot. And uh, we've just been loving that. Uh, we've been doing that for almost a year now. And uh, what we've been doing as of late is going down. We're, we're right near uh, a park in a river where our church is located. And so we go down and just let people know that we actually are having a church service and, and uh, that we're providing free coffee. And it's just been a blast to be able to do that. But we also always want to turn it into a ministry time. And... So we were going down and, and engaging a few people. There was me and two others. And and then we were about to actually walk back and we saw a lady that was just kind of on a picnic blanket at the park by herself on a laptop. And honestly, my first initial thought when I saw her is that she was a medical student and I thought I was getting a word of knowledge. Um, and uh, anyways, but then she had, it ended up being a red rose, but what looked like a, in, from a distance, a red apple on her shirt. And the second thought came to mind, and that was that she was a school teacher. And so uh, we actually went over and, and approached her and, um, and just, I just said to her, uh, hey, I know this is a little strange and told her that I was a, you know, a pastor of a church just right up the road that we come down and pray on Sundays and let people know we're having church. But just, I was wondering if she was a school teacher and she actually said yes. And, and then immediately I just heard to let her know that she's doing exactly what she's called to be doing and that she's actually called to be a mom to many and, um, and that she's right where the Lord wants her. And so we were able to share that with her and she just started crying and she actually told us that she had woken up that morning and that the Lord had spoken to her and said, I want you to get up, get your work, and I want you to go down to, uh, to the river that I have something for you there. I mean, isn't that amazing? And, and so uh, she had been feeling discouraged, especially as an educator during pandemic, and she actually teaches special needs children. And, uh, and that you know, because of uh, the county we're in, that most of the school system is through the internet right now, and that she had not actually been able to have, you know, contact with her students. And she'd really been feeling heartache about that and feeling alone and, and lonely. And then, then the Lord tells us to engage her and share with her that she's doing exactly what she's called to do. And that the Lord met her right there at the park because of her obedience to go down there and then our obedience to actually uh, engage her led to this amazing encounter with the Lord that she had. And so we got to pray for her and she actually, uh, this rarely happens, but she asked if she could pray for us. 
Um, and, and that she actually shared with us that she changed career seven years ago because the Lord said that he was calling her to this field of working with special needs students. And, and so we just wanted to share that tonight with you of, of just this amazing story of how being obedient to the Lord uh, really on two people's end leads to these moments where uh, we encountered the Lord and she encountered the Lord and we were able to minister to each other. Uh, but how easily, I, I, I've said this in the last few times that we've been doing ministry that I have felt for myself is how easily I could have just kept going, but just listening to that small voice of saying, hey, she's a school teacher and I have something for her. And even though I didn't know what it was, going and approaching and just asking her that one question. And the minute she said yes, the rest of the word came. And and so, uh, and so tonight I just wanted to release to you the one, the grace of one, I want to pray for educators, but to the grace to not just hear the Lord, but to be obedient to just the one thing he says. And that when you act on that obedience, he actually brings the rest of what he wants to do. And so Lord, right now we just release grace, Lord, to be able to to be radically obedient, even though sometimes we don't know all what you're saying, but when you just tell us to do one thing and we obey, that in that obedience, you you bring the rest of what you're doing to be able to bring your love, Jesus, to people's hearts. And Lord, so we just, I just feel like there are some who have, that may be watching, who have such a heart uh, for ministry, but don't know quite how to get there. And I just hear the Lord saying, like, just go out and be obedient to the one thing, and a grace is going to be released to you tonight to have tremendous courage to go out and encourage others. Um, and also, right now, we just pray for school teachers, for uh, those in the education field that have done such an amazing job during this time, uh, uh, interesting time that we're in in history, and this time of being in a pandemic, and Lord, we bless the school teachers, and Lord, we thank you for them, and we ask that you anoint them even more, Lord, that you would place them in the right classrooms, and you place them with the right students, and Lord, that we just release them that you were born for this time in history, that he, he does nothing by accident, and that he placed you in the world in this moment, knowing that you were going to be an educator during one of the most wild times in our history uh, of the world. And so we just bless them right now in Jesus name. And, and so we just want to say that we love you guys that we'll be on tomorrow for day 28. Uh, again, just want to announce, we'll be announcing soon that one of our last nights, which are only four nights left, uh, that we're going to have a prophetic time of, uh, of giving prophetic words. And we'll be on here a little bit longer. We're going to share our testimony, but then we're also for those that, that comment uh, live, we want to prophesy over you and love on you. And so that's coming too. Uh, but other than that, we love you guys. Please keep the testimonies coming. It encourages us. We, we I think I shared this yesterday, but we had someone leave, I don't know, a good six or seven testimonies and private message to us that just boosted our faith and encouraged us. And so if you have a testimony, you can leave it on the public comments. You can leave it to us privately. If you have any prayer requests, please leave it for us also. We love to partner with you in prayer. During this process, we've actually seen a miracle happen through a prayer request being sent to us, and they were healed. Uh, uh, I don't know at what time, but I do know that they left another comment saying that that issue was resolved. And so we just encourage you that if you need prayer of any kind, let us know. We want to partner with you. So we'll see you tomorrow night. We love you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.